Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make Rey from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a toothpick of some sort. I've used um, mine, I've, I've coloured it with Sharpie. Okay, so I've used a brown Sharpie and I've just coloured that toothpick. So that's the, the first thing that uh, I would get done. It doesn't matter what kind, you could use a skewer of some sort, but uh, some sort of a stick uh, to do her little sort of baton thing or whatever you call it, spear, what have you. So this is this is our little girl that we're going to make. I'm going to do two types of the part here of her side of the dress. It's not really a dress, but a tunic. Um, because this one I'm using a crochet technique, which some of you might find a little difficult. And uh, so I'm going to give you an option of doing this style or the other. So what we'll do is we'll make our doll first and then we'll do the uh, the different types of, I'm going to call them the, the wings to her tunic. Uh, we'll try two different ways of doing that, an easy way and the way that I've done it here. Let's get started. Single loom. You're going to have it in the offset configuration, which means that column two is going to be slightly higher than column one and three. We're going to be having the open part of the peg facing towards us. Um, instead of uh, the other way, which bracelet makers do. Um, we're also going to be double banding. And double banding means you take two bands and you place them over the pegs together so that you have a stronger result like that. So two bands, put them together. And when we place them over the pegs, we put them together. Now the colours that I'm using, I'm using a variety of different colours. I love all the browns and different sort of beigey tones and it's very difficult to find a whole bunch of them. So I do have different brands here. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Cocoa for her hair and for her boots and for the belt, okay? I'm using Rainbow Loom, uh, I'm sorry, I'm using Kirin Band for the skin tone, okay? Uh, this one, is Rainbow Loom skin tone. Um, I'm using twist bands, which is, um, I, I purchased those from Kirin stores. Um, I'm using those for the uh, tunic, which are a sort of beigey cream color, okay, an off white. And then I'm using Rainbow Loom. I'm sorry, no, these are Kirin store again. These are Kirin store and they're a sort of brownie beige color which is quite nice. I'm going to use those for the trousers. Okay, so a few different colours. You can use whatever you like. You can use a variety of different colours. I know that Rainbow Loom have got caramel, they've got brown, they've got the different skin tone colours uh, that you could use in their skin tone pack, which is fabulous. Um, they've got the new silicon um, skin tone bands, which are lovely. I've got some in a Ziploc bag here. Um, I was actually putting some lubricant on them, but they're a beautiful colour to use as well. So, um, yeah, have a go at finding the different kind of brown tones. Now, because we're doing a little loom figure, I'm going to start by doing the back of her hair. And as you know, she has these three sort of knobbly bits, the braidy sort of bits on the back of her hair. So what we're going to do, two bands, as I said, and we're going to go from the centre to the right and from the centre to the left and we'll do the back of her hair first oops get over there hey there we go now the trick when you're doing the hair is to always make sure that you push things down because otherwise you're not going to have enough room and you are doing skin tone as a layer on top of it so push things down so that you've got room So this is our hair. Now you're going to put a single band across and another single band across. Those are our crossover bands. For the neck, I'm going to use the skin tone. I'm going to use two bands. And I'm going to use a single one as an end cap right here. So a single band wrapped once and twice. So a single band wrap it once and twice. You end up with three little loops and that's going to be my end cap which I'm just going to put here. Okay. Now the thing we want to do also 
is to put the knobbly bits on and they're going in the center here okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this down and this down we will put those back but to do my knobbly bits the little braids I'm going to take three bands pop your hook through wrap once and twice take a pair of bands you're going to slide these on try and pretty them up so they don't look too awful <laughs> reclaim okay so this is going to be the knobbly bit you're going to lift the top of the two center bands slide these over now you want the knobbly bit to be at the back so make sure that's at the back and then you're going to place the two bands back on there let's do the same again so three bands wrap once and twice slide it onto two bands make sure you just left with two on your hook pretty them up a bit reclaim we're going to do the same for this one so take the two off slide these on make sure that the knobbly bit is at the back facing away from you pop that on and lift your crossover band over now it doesn't matter that you've got this bar of pegs there it doesn't matter at all let's do one more for this last one here three bands twist once and twice and a pair slide on it's been a long time since I've done little loom figures there we go again we're going to lift these two off slide our bands on make sure that our little knobbly knot is at the back and replace and lift the crossover band so it's back over like a triangle okay let's get rid of these brown bands for the second so digging down past your end cap which is skin tone you're going to grab the two bottom skin tone bands for the neck hold that skin tone end cap in place and loop these up all right then you're going to go for the top two my top two loop to the left the next top two loop to the right and then up the center once and twice only once and twice don't do these ones we're going down here push those crossover bands back you're only linking looping up once once either side okay like so now we want to push everything down because we're going to put our skin tone bands on top i have to apologize if any of you are worrying um i had blood drawn so i have this nasty great big bruise on my on my hand the back of my hand don't worry i'm all i'm all right <laughs> now starting from you skip your first first um peg you're starting from your second peg and you're going to place again two bands at a time these are for the face So one either side here, and then from there, and then out to the side here. Oh, that's a nasty band. We'll get rid of that. And as I said, make sure you push down so you've got room for everything. Gets a bit crowded here, but there we go. You're going to do two bands over here, like so. Okay, now single band goes across here as our crossover. For our eyes, we're going to take a single band, we're going to twist it once, twice, three times, and place it over the eyes. We're doing this so that the eyes don't fall to the back of the head. Now, I use little black beads, they're the mini pony beads. Um, I believe there are four, I think there are four millimetre. Um, and I slide them onto a skin tone band. If you don't have black beads, you can wrap, um, I don't have black bands right here, but take a band 
the color that you want to make your eyes and wrap it once twice and three times that equals one bead so you do it twice once twice three times and you would slide these onto your skin tone band and that works just as well as beads and then when you place your eyes you would put one side here one side here like this and then using your hook you take the middle you put your hook through the middle of that band that has the eyes on and you take the top part of the band and loop it above this peg so that's how you do it if you're using um, bands if you're uh, yeah bands if you're using beads slide your beads onto your skin tone band make sure that they're either side of the head and then again using your hook just grab that top part and loop it above this little peg okay so that's what we do for that now one of the things that we want to do before we go further is to from the front we're not going behind these two bands we're going in the front here you're going to grab the two bands that are part of the neck it's the end cap and you're going to link it up so it sits on these two bands for the neck okay so that's going to sit there that ties the back of the head into the neck all right so our next step we're going to change to our lighter tan color I'm using the, as I said, the twist bands. Um, I bought them from Kieran Stores. They're not a very nice band. Um, they, they, they don't have very much lubricant on them, so they're not an easy band to work with. So we're going either side, and we're going one pair, two pair, and three pair. And the same on the other side. Sometimes I buy bands just for the variety of colour, but I have to say my favourite bands are the Rainbow Loom bands. They are consistently good. Now down the centre here we're going one pair. Oh, see how I've made that a bit crossed over on itself? I'm going to try and untwist that. You don't want them to be twisted, it doesn't look very nice. Two three and four now I'm going to change to these are again the Kirin brand and again I'm using two I'm coming down for the pants one two three and three on the other side one two, three, let me use a darker colour and then from here we're going up, oops I've got it twisted, there we go, and up like so, I'm going to put an end cap here Wrap it on your hook once and twice and pop on that peg there. Now I'm using skin tone, a pair of skin tone this side, and a pair of skin tone this side, and then I'm going to use the darker brown for her boots. So a pair here. And a pair here. All right. Now, for some crossover bands, I'm going to use the darker of the tan across here. I'm using the lighter here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's skin tone. Get the skin tone off. <laughs> so, pop across here. Now, I'm going to take a single band, stretch it so it's a capped band, and put it in the center. Single band stretch it not capped we need to do her arms so take a single skin tone wrap it once and twice slide onto a pair 
of skin tone and then we're going to do the beige again the lighter creamy color one so that's our first pair our second pair third pair fourth pair and I'm going back to skin tone for my fifth pair fifth pair I'm going to pop that on her arm right here okay I'm going to go and do another single band in skin tone and a pair in skin tone like so now I'm going to do a pair in the dark brown and then the cream so one two three oops four in the cream and my fifth one is going to be skin tone like so put these ones back for the second And this will go on the other arm like so now for her boots so she's looking all right now I also we're gonna to have to I'm sorry take a single brown and do a figure eight on your loom on your, on your loom on your hook and pop on this peg so it's your you got your arm one and two and the one just above it and then the opposite side as well like that mustn't forget those now for boots you're going to take a pair of bands wrap around your hook once and twice slide onto a pair of brown. Don't reclaim just yet, take another pair of brown. Wrap once and twice and now you can reclaim. You're going to push those down, now you can reclaim. Okay, so you've got that wrapped pair of bands in the middle and you're going to slide onto one more pair of brown bands. It can be a bit tricky when your hands are oily. And I had lubricant on the other, the other uh, bands. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Now you can twist this either way for whichever foot you're working on. I've got mine twisted this way, and I'm going to pop on the end of the leg, just here, like so, and bend it the right way. Let's do the other side. Wrap it once and twice, slide onto, let's get a few more brown bands, slide onto a pair. Don't reclaim just yet. Take another pair, wrap once and twice. Now you can reclaim and slide onto another pair. Oh, I hate when I put lubricant on the bands and then I can't move things over. There we are. You only want two left on your hook. And angle it the other way. And pop on the end of her leg, like so. So here we are. This is going to be our the figure of our doll. I'm just going to move these bands out of the way. So, how we're going to loop this up. Dig down past the little boot that we just made and you want to find the two bottom brown bands and loop them above. And the same on the other side. <laughs> I am slippery as a little eel. There we go. We're going to loop up. There's a skin tone skin tone and here's her trouser legs now I like to do the trouser legs up first and then go down through that end cap 
and move the side bits over. I think it just looks nicer. Grab the other two and move them to their corresponding side. And then the center, grab those two. Oh, I grabbed one. Let's grab that other one. There we are. Dig down, find the last two. And we start to loop up. Now, when we have these little belt bits, what we need to do is remove our crossover band so that we can loop this up. And then you're going to turn your loom slightly so you can push your hook up here. Grab with your hook, I've got my hook twisted, grab the brown bands and pull your hook around to the top and pull down. Okay, and that flips those over. Now you're going to split those cream bands, take the top two only, and you need to pull that crossover band back so it's in its place, and then replace the cream band. So let's do the same on the other side. Take your crossover band off, loop up. Again, you're going up, grabbing the brown band, only the brown band, pull it to the top and down, and then split your band in two like that. So you've got the top two. You're going to grab your crossover band, pull it back, and re-loop. Now, you don't have to do that for the center one because it just works. There's nothing in the way. So push that over. Now, the tricky bit with the center one is getting under those bottom bands. So twist your hook grab the brown bands pull it round and there you go all right keep on looping up to the arms i always like to do the arms and the shoulders first before looping this end one i think it looks the bands look nicer that way so loop in the shoulders and then you'll loop in that chest one. Now, we have to dig all the way down past all of these bands to find those last skin tone at the bottom there, which we did. Down here, we've got the top two. They go to their corresponding side. The next two, now, see? That was a tricky one. We've got one from one side and one from the other, so let's be careful with this. I'm going to grab these two. There we go. And now, now I have these two to find. Sometimes they can be a bit tricky. There we go. Try and make it so they're not um, twisted on each other because if, if you have a twisted face, it looks a bit odd. You can loop these center ones up. Again, I don't want that twisted. Push down. Making sure you're pushing past your crossover bands. And now we're going to link all the way down, find the bottom two brown bands. And that links the front of the face in. And in this one here, all the way up. And then we go from the side. Now, the other thing you can do if you want to is loop these ones last. So loop that one in. And I should have done that. I like the top one to be the center loop that one in and then the center I just think it looks nicer it doesn't really matter it's however you like to do it I'm going to take two bands the reason I use two as a tie off is in case one breaks push your hook down and out through the back side here grab your two tie off bands and of course only one wants to go on my hook. I twist my hook so that I don't snag it on these bands as I pull it back up and to the back side of that peg. Take one over the other and pull tight. Now we're going to need to take this off our loom. I like to use a metal hook that doesn't have the ergonomic part on it and gently ease it off my loom. I think if you sometimes just pull it off you have you run the risk of um, breaking your bands and that's the last thing you want to do when you've got this far so gently ease her off your loom
Here we go. So this is, I'm pulling, I'm pulling her arms up and out, up and out. This is the basic figure for Ray. And you've got the three bubbles on the back of her head here, the little three braids. I'm going to use my tie-off band. I'm going to go through the back of her head here and push my hook up to the top here. Grab those tie-off bands and I'm going to pull them so that they are hidden in the back of her head because you've got this little space between her hair and her face. You can hide all sorts of things back there. <laughs> so there's her little face with her little bubbles here. Now, as I said, this is my basic figure for her, okay? And some people have said, oh, just leave her like this and you can just take, oh, sorry, that was my arm. Take a band, a brown band. You're going to go through this side here and you're going to do one over the other like that. And then you stretch this and put it over her arm and her head so it sits on her shoulder. And that's how I did that. And then you can put your little spear, and I go through one side here and up by the shoulder, like so. So if that's how you want to leave her, that is absolutely fine. I personally like to finish her off with the little side bits on her, uh, her outfit. So I'm going to show you in a separate video how to do that. We're going to do two different ways of making these side bits if you if you're more comfortable if you find this a little bit difficult you can just leave her like this but i'll show you in the next video how to do these bits okay take care